Let's move now to uh, enthalpy departure chart. It's just like the compressibility chart. So if I have, I'm interested in calculating H2 minus H1 for real gases, not ideal gases. So what I'll do is I'll say, I'll approximate it assuming that it's truly a function of temperature only neglecting the effects of pressure. And that's when they put this asterisk up here. This is a true ideal gas. And it's only a function of temperature. The final temperature T2 and the final initial temperature T1. And then we'll have some correction or departure, depending what text you read and what parts of the text you'll read. But this is an enthalpy correction or enthalpy departure from the ideal gas behavior. So that best estimate of our enthalpy accounting for pressure minus the ideal gas value of the enthalpy where these temperatures are the same. T2 is the same. All right. And then you also have the correction accounting for the P1, so H minus H star. And if you just look at the math, this, this and that are the only surviving terms, so the right-hand side is equal to the left-hand side in this equation. Well, these enthalpy departures are not trivial, but they do the derivation to come up with it. But you can see it's the rate of change of compressibility factor with respect to the reduced temperature, blah, 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 integrated with respect to the reduced pressure, blah, blah, blah. Uh, don't worry, no homework problems where you have to do the integral. But they've tabulated this in a chart. And so the chart, what we'll do is spend a little time looking at right now. So I have to scroll down. When you're introduced to a chart, I recommend you look and see what is on the x-axis and what is on the y-axis. So the reduced pressure, what is P sub R? Is it the actual pressure divided by the critical pressure for our substance? Sure. And you can look it up, argon, nitrogen, methane, whatever gas you're interested in, you can get that critical pressure. Also, on the Y axis, what's that? Well, that's our, our enthalpy departure or correction from the, whoops, from the actual best estimate to the ideal gas considering temperature only. They normalize it by R bar T critical. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're typically going to come in and try to read off this chart and read over and pick off a value and use that value. Oh, it's two and a half something like that. Well, here are lines of constant TR. That's the actual temperature divided by the critical temperature. So this Y is read by first coming in with the PR. Maybe the PR is uh, 2, as an example. And the TR is 1.4. You would find where they intersect, and you would read off that value, maybe it's 1.2. Doesn't that look like about 1.2? And that's what our, that's how you use the chart. Go back to the equation and unravel it to get a better estimate of the enthalpy change. That would be maybe for state one. And then maybe state two is, I don't know, maybe it's a one here and 1.3 right there is 1.3 so that I'd read off and it would be I don't know point uh, six five it's a little bit of Menard good luck getting two significant digits right reading the chart so but this is very old school this is pre computers they did a lot of this work well maybe not pre computer but early computer 